Hey YouTube, it's Electric Adventures. I've got another package in the mail. Um, little box here, I've taken the label off the top and reopened it to save time. Um, it's another package from Japan. Um, another couple of items popped up and I couldn't help myself and grab them. Um, when you start looking for one item you, you find others. So I'm very pleased I found the first thing because uh, it is particularly rare and it's actually a title I missed out on earlier and it's actually probably good that I missed out on earlier because I've got one more complete. And then from the same seller another item popped up um, within the same period so they must have been selling off part of their collection. Um, there was another one I missed out on, which was actually uh, Bubble Bubble, um, that went for a reasonable price. It did have a little tatty around the top edge, so um, but then I would have spent too much. But then I probably wouldn't have bought some of the other ones. So without too much ado, here is the first one. Now it's not in supreme condition, but it still is complete. So this is a B-card title for the MSX, and it's Star Force but it's also complete. Um, and it has one more thing, so that the, my other B card one in the case I reckon is missing the little plastic case that's going to be in this one. So but we've got that foam packaging again. The little faders obviously been sitting in a shop for quite some time. And it has the instruction manual back there. Um, and I think we slide out sideways here. And we have, so there's the foam packaging, we have the card and it's in an actual little hard case that um, levers up. And there we go, Star Force. So I would assume this is going to be very similar to the Coleco version. It will actually be interesting to see um, whether there's any differences. So obviously the Coleco's only got one K of RAM, so I don't know whether they had to um, slim it down and also the Coleco version is converted from the Sega um, SC3000 SG1000 which also only had a small amount of RAM um, so there may actually have been compromises so we have a manual it's only black and white and it's not too creased or anything like that it's just got a couple of like age stains or instructions there obviously all in Japanese but um, I mean that's obviously the most complete B card I've got and that makes my fourth one uh, so I'm almost halfway through those because I said there are nine I have discovered now the next title was um, an extra that I picked up from this person I only got it fairly cheap um, and did a last minute bid to get it over the other person who had didn't have much money on it and it's Tetris and I got this because it's an MSX2 game and Tetris isn't a bad game and I reckon it might be alright on the MSX and it's in a hard case see Japanese things on the back closer you can see so it's got some quite interesting looking screenshots now it's not a cartridge though Let's get the case open it's all nice inside, so we've got the manual, and it's not tape either, it's actually disc based. So the label on the disc doesn't look too bad. And that's in, I mean, it's actually a nice, um, quite a nice hard case, this one. So, so that was, I think, $22, which for a complete inbox MSX title is um, is very good indeed and last but not least is a game that I'm missing out of a series for the MSX as well and it's complete inbox and it's Gradius 2 which I've never played at all it looks very good Uh, on the back, so it's still an MSX1 title, but it does have the SCC SAM chip uh, built onto the cartridge, and it's a 1 megabit ROM, so it's quite a big game. 
one to an 87 on the front so we've got the um, the softer plastic case so inside we have the instructions and they look in really good condition let's have a quick look at those really nice artwork on that so it's a, more like a partial colour manual so mainly black and white with a couple of um, you know, one one colour additive gradient. So there's actually looks like there's a bit of a, a background story novel in there. Makes one want to learn how to read kanji, doesn't it? It'll probably be quite interesting. Maybe I can. I'm sure there would be a translation somewhere. Because this was brought out in English. Yeah, the pages focus this one's not going to be nice anyway same control as the previous ones I won't go through all the way through the menu because it's actually quite thick and then we have the cartridge itself which is in tip-top condition nice and shiny there's perhaps a little yellowing on the top I don't know I mean, that might be its original colour, you can't tell. But it's not the same. There is a different level in the whites between the top and the and there. But otherwise in um in very good condition. Contacts look pretty clean too, so obviously um well looked after. So, some more games for the MSX. Um and uh, yeah, a couple there. Well obviously two shoot 'em ups and one puzzle game. So Let's go give them a go. Here we go with Star Force for MSX1. Um, using the gamepad here, it's MSX compatible. Now already I noticed some differences from the Coleco version. For a start, we're using sprites uh, overlaid on top of each other to get both multicolored enemies and the main character. Plus, even the background, oops, ah, even the background, um, well, there's no stars in the background, but the main um, background area is actually more colorful. Yeah, and I will say this is actually playing faster than the Coleco Cle one. Um, need to keep your wits about you. collect as many of those H&B targets to achieve the bonus at the end of the level. But it also helps if you can make it to the end of the level too. <laughs> so that, that B, that's one of the bonuses. And the H ones are the other ones you're supposed to be finding and collecting. Oh, music's changed a bit. B's and lowercase B's. I don't remember seeing those in the other one. So it is more different than you think than the um, that Coleco conversion from the Sega. So, oh, that's right. It's, it's got power up. I think I might have missed that before. to change the music. Not doing very well. 
That intro music starts to drag a little bit, doesn't it? Since this has got auto fire in anyway, I probably wouldn't mind trying it uh, with, uh, with a different joystick at some stage. But that actually looks like a very good version, and um, yeah, it seems to have a little bit more to it than the uh, Coleco conversion, so it might be a, a later one. So it's 1985, I'll have to check the date on the um, Coleco's conversion. Alright, let's try our next title. Alright, here we go with Nemesis 2. Now I think this game's got a bit of an intro. I've switched to my MSX2 because uh, that actually has stereo output. <clears throat> so we'll just let it go to its little intro mode without me pressing anything. So get some nice SCC sound. Now, as I said, and you've got to remember this is still an MSX X1 game, so. So has the color, limit, color limitations, but it's quite a big cartridge. So a nice little intro. Obviously that next step up in complexity from the first game. Alright, we won't do all of this otherwise I'll bore you to tears. Let's get into it now. <coughs> Bound to the last one. So we can tweak up to speed. as hard as something like um, Salamander is. Oops. Oh. Yeah, now I'm back down. I didn't have any things left, so... The number one rule when you're doing gameplay. Don't ever say that something's not too hard. Teach you to press yourself. Bit of a squeeze there. Oh, and then forgot they came from behind. <laughs> um, well, that looks quite good. We're going to have to have another go. Can't look at that. It's too good a game. So, I mean, if we look at the progression for the first game, um, obviously you can have to look back at a fair few videos and we'll find that. Um, 
Um, and, uh, you know, they've actually increased the graphics a lot. Added the um, SSC sound chip. Which makes a lot of difference to the music. utilize a lot more color. commentate at the same time but that one's a step up above and above and beyond the first one and a really good game so I now have Nemesis 1, 2 and 3 and Salamander so that sort of completes that mini collection on the MSX and very glad to have each and every one of them um, maybe after a short break I might have to come back and do a uh, Nemesis series video which would be very interesting to do let me know if you're interested in that and some great SSE sound all right, let's move on to our this game. So that's a very good version of Tetris and a very good lot of games. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.